Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is going to be part seven of the Getting to Blinky series, uh, where we actually output files and then send them to get manufactured. Uh, this is exciting. Hopefully, everything's working okay for you. Hopefully, you've been able to follow along properly. And before we start, just wanted to let you know if you are watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, uh, contextualelectronics.com. There's a whole bunch of other videos that are available for learning about KiCad, learning about actually designing PCBs, designing analog circuits, digital circuits, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, if you want to be part of a community that is interested in building these things together, please go check that out. All right, so let's actually get started here. Let's open up the KiCad launcher. And we're going to go right back into PCB new. All right, and if we recall from the last video, this is actually the board that we designed. Uh, we don't have the back copper turn on. We should turn that on. So this is the main pad as well. Oh, we turned off that pad. You can see that there's just the cross hatch there, but not the pad. Turn that back on. All right, there we go. Uh, so we have our board. We have our, our labeling here as well. Uh, hopefully you put some silk screen in there, and you can feel free to add whatever you'd like, really, to make your board feel more at home. <laughs> uh, yes, so we're going to actually output a file from this today, a bunch of files actually. The format for PCBs, at least a standardized format, is called Gerbers. And Gerbers are a uh, XY coordinate based uh, file format that basically allows a PCB house to know where you want to put different features and everything like that. The way we do this in KiCad is we go to the plot button, which is right up here. And then we say output format. We go, we have to choose our output directory. So. We're in the correct folder here, which is good. Yep, C getting blinky. That's good. We're actually going to create a folder within here. New folder, Gerber's, just to really make it a little cleaner. All right, good to go. Use a relative path is fine. All right, so uh, we need to do just double check about what we want to include here. So right now we have. Um, the Gerber format, there's a couple other ones, but we definitely want Gerber. So we have top copper, bottom copper, top silk screen, bottom silk screen. And I'm not sure why, but for some reason, it did not select the front side solder mask, the back side solder mask, and the board edge. So we definitely want all of those things to be output, and we want to be able to make sure that that's good to go. Other options we have here, uh, the plotting module values, references, and text. Uh, that would just be you know, the text we add external to it. Um, we actually took care of that when we, in the last video when we were making things visible or invisible. We could do it more generally here. We could just say not to pull any of those into the silk screen. And then uh, <coughs> excluding PCB edge layers from other layers. Now looking at this, actually, uh, I realized that we did not do a... DRC, which is a design rules check. So let's do that real quick, just to make sure. Um, so we'll go into the DRC here, which is a little bug check. <laughs> uh, minimum track width, uh, VSIs, and micro VSIs, which we don't use. But we're going to check our clearances, make sure we don't overlap or anything like that. So we hit start DRC. And it looks like we didn't have any problems. <laughs> I feel like we should uh, make some problems just to to make sure, but I, I guess we'll just go with it. Uh, because this is such a sparse board, it's really not going to be a problem. But if you, you know, if you mistakenly cross traces, so if you're running this trace here and you crossed over this one in the process, that could definitely cause a problem, and it will error at you for that kind of thing. It'll, it'll point it out. And I guess we can draw it. Oh, fine. You convinced me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and draw. Oh, wrong layer here. V draw from here over to here. Ah, oh, see it doesn't even let you cross over there. It might be able to get close enough. It just just barely lets you do that. See it really just doesn't want to let you do it, so no, it's not letting me overlap, which is a nice thing about KiCad. I mean, I've used some other CAD programs in the past, and uh, it lets you just roll right over one another. So it's sometimes confusing because you are you might, you might be routing traces and, and thinking, oh, well, I can uh, 
why why isn't this why isn't this trace taking quote unquote and uh it's because of clearance issues so uh that is one of the features i do like about KiCad. um but it can be confusing at first so i guess i won't be able to show that here but uh yeah sometimes also the uh clearance on the pads and everything like that that can be a problem as well so we'll uh we'll just roll with what we have so let's go back into plot okay we make sure we got the right ones we got the back the back and front for copper silk screen solder mask and edge cuts so we'll hit plot that's good we can see all the files that were created there now we also need to do uh, the uh, drill file because all of the vias and everything will actually show up as a drill uh, and this sometimes you have to be very careful here sometimes this mirror y-axis will be default set and that's very confusing and I'm not sure why it does that but uh, <laughs> sometimes it is so we'll uh, yeah For the actual format we're gonna switch over to suppress leading zeros we're going to uh, do a minimal header and postscripts okay inches are good too and then we'll actually create the drill file there we go gtb.drill and close this we can close this we'll save this and now we can actually go and check out make sure we did everything correctly so let's close this now we want to go into the uh, Gerber viewer program Gerb view open that up now we're going to click Gerber to actually load this up we're going to go into oh we're in the right file here see get into blinky go into the Gerber folder we're going to select all of these hit open and there's my there is the uh, file down there and then we also want to load up the drill to make sure there we go just to make sure if it was if you didn't properly hit the mirrored um, the mirrored over the Y it would actually show up up here so that's something to check out as well but we can see if we zoom wait oh uh oh maybe we did I didn't see that in there hmm let's do that again I didn't like that we should actually be able to see the drill layers well let's actually take it down layer by layer here should be able to see it. Ah. Of course, it's because of the colors. <laughs> so let's, uh, oops, if we middle click, change the color, make those white, and then we should be able to line those back up. Aha. There we go. Now that's easier to see. I, KiCad seems to like pink for some reason. Uh, okay, so now <clears throat> we can look at each individual layer. Uh, I also want to check out, looks like that could be problematic. So remember, this is the the variable resistor. Um, these two holes over here are from the <coughs> the actual uh, CR2032 battery holder. So let's, uh, do, well, let's do this layer by layer. Let's look at, see if we can figure out which layer is which. So this is the bottom copper layer. We have... Uh, plating here so that's why that shows up it's from the, the vias we have the uh, that must be top side oh no that's sorry that's the uh, this is the bottom side solder mask relief let's see what so that is the bottom side silk screen that is the board outline make sure nothing goes outside of that that's good so let's turn all those off now that is a top side copper. I'm going to skip down here and turn on the vias. So there's the actual drills. These are the drill holes and everything for the vias. And the, uh, yeah. This is the top side silk screen. We're going to change the color here to light, gr light green. There we go. Um, okay. Boy, that's not a very good LED. I don't particularly like that. You can tell the uh, cathode is here because of the little marker, but uh, yeah, that's not great. Hmm. All right. So there's copper, and then what did we miss? We missed the solder mask. So if we look at 
solder mask relief it will actually draw it uh, let's get rid of this so this is actually going to be where it pulls back the solder mask including the text that we created so this will show up as copper because uh, let's see oh that's hard to see uh, let's make that a little brighter gray there we go so everywhere where it's gray right now it will relieve the solder mask so it'll be exposed copper and with the process that we're using it's actually going to look gold because there's a plating process at the end all right so board kind of looks like what i expected it to that's good i like that uh we might have some problems here because that's right on the edge i'm not going to worry about it if it gets cut off it's not that big a deal uh, but if this was not a silk screen layer, then we would worry about that. That'll be taken off in the um, when the drill comes or when the uh, routing bit comes through. But we should be okay there. Um, so we got all of our silk screen. Oh, hmm. no, that'll be okay as well. This copper's underneath the board, so that's okay. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to close this program <laughs> all right good 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 all right we need to also zip up these files so i'm going to pull up the folder here and this is another reason to put the gerber in a separate folder simply right click add it to dot zip oh not dot rar we want dot zip and add to archive dot zip you rename this GTB. There we go. You see all the different files that we have in here. Now we're going to load up the uh, board manufacturer that I really like, especially for small boards and in small runs. So Oshpark, which is a uh, this is a shared PCB service. So for five dollars per square inch for a two-layer board like we're doing, uh, you get three PCBs mailed to you. So that's uh, one of the best deals I know for small PCBs. You know, getting three is not necessarily the best thing here, but uh, prior to using Oshpark, I I used to use a service where it was 130, so or 150 rather for a couple of boards. So this is definitely nice to have the small sharing service here. So let's uh, open this up, getting to Blinky, and there we go. So we call this GTB. Getting to Blinky. Good to go. And I'll pause this while it processes. Actually, while it does this, let's actually look at some of this the submission guidelines. Uh, so it gives you all the different uh, CAM files that it's hoping for, especially the uh, the extensions. Also up here, the uh, design rules are important. We did 10 mil uh, lines and traces. Oh, I guess that's the same. It's the same page here, but uh, so we did 10 mil line in space. This can actually do 6 mil line in space, so we could actually put traces closer together. We decided not to, and then the drill size can be down to 13 mil. <coughs> um, and then also the uh, some of the errors. I highly recommend the Ash Park site. Now this is one of my favorite things about it. Detected it, uh, so it actually redraws all this for you, and this is actually what it's going to look like. So let me see if we can zoom in a little bit here. All right. So just oh, just over one one inch square. So 505 for me. You can do that different if you do your own board. So you can see that it shows all the gold the parts that are going to be gold because that's the plated part. Uh, it shows our outlines. Shows the bottom side here. Shows the top side uh, silk screen and everything. And it looks like we are good to go. So great process there for zipping stuff up. You just upload it. You should be able to see a preview. I really like that a lot. Oh, there we go. Even better. Closer views. You can see the, you can see the copper relief. That's kind of hard to see here, but you can see the, um, the copper that's actually on the bottom side there. Actually tries to render that separately and everything. These are the uh, vias that connect to the bottom layer. Nicely shows all the different layers and everything. And silk screens. 
that's good to go. All right, so I'm going to go through and order these, and I'm very excited to get these back. And in the next video, we'll actually show assembly and hopefully getting to Blinky. Thanks for watching.